A welcome back to Shacy Tarot. If you're returning for those of you brand new, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year. I'm so happy to be back here reading for you. I apologize it's been a little while, but with the holidays comes a bunch of fun activities and responsibilities. <laughs> so welcome back. For those of you that are brand new, I'm doing a Healing Stone bracelet giveaway. You can see that in the description box. It's absolutely free. It's just my way of giving back and saying thank you. So check that out. Uh, all you need to do is subscribe to this channel, which is absolutely free. Follow me on uh, Instagram if you prefer that, or Facebook. I prefer Facebook because I'm on there more. Uh, you can leave me a recommendation on there or leave me a comment, whatever you like. Uh, like the page and put a comment down below here. Uh, let me know what's going on with you or just simply say bracelet giveaway. You get to choose your size. They're all made by me. This is the I am enough. Okay, all of these healing stones are selected by me for your highest good. I've got citrine on there, rose quartz, smoky quartz, well, uh, car carnelian, um, jade, I've got amethyst, I could go on and on, lace agate, lapis, everything is for your highest good and have amazing healing properties. So check that out, okay? You get to choose your charm and the length that you want, six and three quarters inch all the way to, sorry, six inch all the way to seven and three quarter inch. And I pay shipping and everything. If you've ever seen that movie, Pay It Forward, that's what I'm trying to do. It's my way of saying thank you. So you have nothing to lose. I choose three winners each month. You can go check out the last winners on Facebook if you choose to do so. Let's go ahead and get started. So all you gotta do is hit the subscribe, which is free, like this video, share it, and uh, yeah, check out and uh, join my Facebook page, preferably if not Instagram. I would love to see you there anyway. So thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get started. For Leo, Sun, Moon, wow, hopping out in my hand. Five of Swords, okay, this is Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. You could be involved with Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. It's more about the energy of the cards. Okay, let's clarify the Five of Swords. Wow, hopping out, look at this. Okay, let's see what's going on. Have you been feeling stuck, okay? Or if this isn't you, it's your person. I do wanna say that this is a general reading. I am using, and I totally forgot to mention this, I've been trying to hurry and get your reading started because I know you've been waiting so long, but I've been using the 1960s and 1970s decks. I have joined them together. And the reason why I've done that is sometimes we'll get double clarification in one deck and it's really been awesome. So I'm so glad I did that, okay? So they're 60 years old and they're 50 year old cards joined together. And I will do some mutual energies between you and a love interest if you have one. If you don't, it could be just somebody surrounding your energy. It could be your energy, okay? Quite often I pick up somebody's energy that's close to you. So whether that's a love interest of yours or a family member, again, it's a general read. You're all going to be different, okay? If you want something more geared to your, your, um, energy i will figure out your moon and your rising sign etc based upon you know the credentials you give me just go to shacy.com and you can either ask me a question there or all again ever all the information's in the description box i'm going to get the mutual energies though between you and a love interest love interest of yours or somebody that's close to you with my shacy prism deck okay let's get started so i have here that you have been in probably a very emotional battle here within yourself, within your mind. You're, you're, you're struggling here mentally, I feel. You may be feeling a lot of passion for somebody. You are passionate, you are driven, but you are feeling emotionally stuck, like you're just in this mental prison right now, okay, of your own thoughts. You want your 10 of cups. You want the whole enchilada here. This is my whole enchilada card. Okay, you want it all. You want the family, you want the home, you want the pets, you want the boat, the car, you want everything with somebody. Maybe there's somebody you're thinking about. Okay, so far I've got Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, your energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. You may be thinking about a Taurus, a Capricorn, or Virgo. You are either wanting... An earth sign, you feel they are your everything. You're feeling very passionate and driven toward them, but you're, you feel like you're stuck for some reason, okay? Or this is your person is feeling stuck in a long-term committed family situation going through a battle. That could be as well, okay? We're going to keep going here. We'll do some clarification. Clarify the five of swords here, please, for Leo. Why is the five of swords here? 
Somebody's going through a battle, okay? And on the other side is completion. This is a completed cycle, okay? There was something either on your end or somebody you're close to is going through a very difficult struggle. This is something that has left them feeling like they're stuck in a mental prison. They're going through it emotionally. It's a very painful experience for them. I feel it's in a family committed long-term marriage or partnership. Queen of Pentacles, generally speaking, is a married person, and I'm seeing that here. So either you are feeling very passionate about a Queen of Pentacles who is really going through it here. They feel stuck. They feel very, very mentally stuck. They're in a battle. They're going through a huge difficult time here. It's been very painful for them. Or this is you going through this with them. But because I'm seeing the Knight of Wands here, which is your energy, Leo, I feel that you're feeling quite passionate and driven. Let's clarify that. Clarify the Knight of Wands here, please, for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo. Judgment. Six of Pentacles. You may be wanting an equal give and take with this person, okay? You're wanting balance, okay? Sixes are about progress. It's making progress. You're, you're either giving to two people here or they have been. You're wanting an equal give and take. Maybe you felt like you were getting a few crumbs before. You weren't getting enough or all of this person. You may be trying to make a final decision regarding your person here or this is them with you, or they're involved in a marriage and they are going through an awakening that is forcing them to make a decision here. They or you have been going through this very difficult ending of a long-term family or committed relationship. And this is about awakening. And sometimes this is also, you know, reconciliation with someone from your past. It could be from your past. Maybe you're considering reconciling with them or they with you. Okay. Maybe they're going through the end of a marriage. Because this is definitely earth energy here. You could be dealing with an earth sign or somebody, you know, having those qualities or those characteristics. A Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is very practical, solid, down-to-earth kind of person. They, they like their ducks in a row, okay? They like their T's crossed, their I's dotted. They're somebody that likes to be grounded. They don't like change, okay? So... Whether it's you or your person, I'm feeling this is your person. I feel that they're going through a very difficult, painful ending of a long-term relationship here. And the universe is giving them a new start here because once you get to tens, that's completion. And this is a new beginning, okay? This is changes that are destined to happen here, okay? But it is successful. It's somebody making that final judgment call. It's, it's the universe tapping them or you on the shoulder and saying, hey, you know, you're meant to do this or you're meant to do that. Realize what it is you're meant to do. This is meant to end. It's too painful. You don't want to stay in this energy. Tens turn into aces, which is the brand new beginning. Okay, so somebody's realizing that they have a new start here. So it's either they're looking to reconcile with someone from their past. It could be you. Okay, or reconciling overall. Maybe this marriage. I'm not seeing that though. This is, this is an ending for sure. So this is about letting go of the past, I feel, and having this awakening and realizing what their future is or what your future is. Okay, it's making that final call from the universe. I feel like maybe you were given crumbs or getting crumbs before, and so the universe is, this is about equality. This is about finding balance, about, sometimes it can mean that somebody is going to now start balancing these scales and come to a place of balance and equal reciprocity between you and them let's go ahead and clarify clarify the six of pentacles here please between leo and their love interest clarify the six of pentacles this is good i mean this is difficult but it's also very good yeah page of pentacles somebody may come towards you an earth sign quite possibly or somebody with strong earth in their chart offering you an equal give and take a balanced more balanced relationship here Okay. The page of pentacles is a messenger regarding something tangible. They may offer you a tangible gift 
or they may say, okay, I want an equal give and take here. Will you accept my offer? Okay, and if that's not them, this is you taking on the Queen of Pentacles energy, wanting to offer this to someone else with a great deal of passion. Maybe you're ending a long-term relationship and moving toward a Queen of Pentacles. It could be both of you. Let's get the mutual energies between you and your love interest. Let me know what's going on in the comment section. Leo, I want to hear from you. I haven't spoke to you for a while. NT, are you still watching? How are you doing? I hope you had an awesome holiday season. Look at that. Self, love, and care. Spirit is asking for you and your love interest, okay, or whomever is close to you. This is definitely feels like a love situation here. The ending of one and the beginning of some new, something new. I feel like Spirit is saying this is so difficult and such a pain, painful cycle and experience you've been through in a long-term relationship, you or your love interest, that it's time for you and your love interest, if you have one, to give yourself some of that self-love and care. This could be about ending a situation that's been painful for you and taking care of yourself, moving on to what it is you want. Again, this is about realizing what your purpose is in life. It could be anything. It could be, you know, you're meant to move and start your own business and, and end a painful relationship in your life. This is definitely a long-term relationship with the Ten of Cups, okay? And this is about you know, having that awakening and realizing what you're meant to do and who you're meant to be with. That's being tapped on the shoulder by the universe. This is totally angelically guided here for you. The mutual feelings or interests or energies, please, between Leo and their love interest. So there's certain things that you're unaware of or your love interest is unaware of if you have one. Okay, this can be, this is like the moon card. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Again, doesn't have to be, but this is about being in your head and being stuck okay but you're not really stuck you can move anytime you want but emotionally you're just feeling overwhelmed you're feeling stuck you're feeling like almost trapped in a prison of your own mental thoughts and you may be overthinking a lot of things and spirit is saying you know there are some things that are maybe are not known to you right now that perhaps will come out after this painful cycle is ended and after the tens you are going to a brand new beginning and you will start to, the fog will lift and any unknown circumstances will will start to be illuminated and you'll start to understand why things happened the way they did okay you will have an offer come in here of something practical solid this can be you know a, a a new business opportunity or money coming in, an inheritance, a mortgage, uh, a gift, something that's tangible. You know, somebody could offer you a car or let's move in together. Something practical, grounded. It's, 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 uh, it's something that perhaps you've been waiting for. Mutual energies, please, between Leo and their love interest. What can you tell Leo for their highest good, please, spirits? What can you tell Leo for their highest good? What can you tell Leo for their highest good, please, spirits? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Leo, January 2020. Action, willpower, journey. Yeah, this is faded. This is the chariot card. This is moving forward to a new beginning, a new journey. It can be an actual physical journey, like traveling, relocation, Moving forward, usually quite quickly. Let's get some more clarification here. We're going to clarify. Let's go ahead and clarify that Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups. I'm going to do an extended on your reading over on Vimeo. So for those of you that are brand new, I do another 15 plus or minus minutes over on Vimeo. There'll be The link will be down below in the description box and in the comment section. So if this is resonating for you, you can definitely meet me over there. It's a small purchase price, but it's a lot less expensive than a private reading. But if this is resonating for you, that may be all you want. And of course, I'm always open to private readings. I do have some regular clients. You can check that out as well at shacy.com. But if this is resonating for you, you want to meet me over there and we will clarify a lot more of these cards. I'm definitely going to clarify the judgment. We're going to see what the judgment is. What's, can we, see if we can figure out what this final decision is. What is this Six of Pentacles? Is this an equal give and take? Okay. And where is this new journey taking us? Who's this Queen of Pentacles? We have heartbreak here. So this can specify that, yeah, somebody was either giving to two people and breadcrumbing one and the other. 
okay? But this can just mean overall heartbreak, that there wasn't enough balance in this relationship, this prior relationship or pending, uh, ending of a current situation may not have happened yet. This may happen in the future. It caused heartbreak overall. It doesn't matter. Third party, family interference, children interference, a love in, another love interest interference, long-term partner versus a new beginning, a new partner. Whatever it is, this is fated to move forward here. So we got the chair, we got the judgment. Let's find out where we're going, okay? Let's find out perhaps what caused the heartbreak, but more than that, where are we going? Okay, where are we going from here? What is this final decision going to be? And how is it going to affect us? And where's this chariot going here? In the extended, I'm also going to pull some romance angels. So we're going to do a pick a card with that. And I'm going to pull my enchanted tarot. Now these are 30 years old. These are 60 years old and 50 years old. So we've got a nice selection of cards here. I'm also going to pull for you the traditional Rider weight. We're going to get some clarification. I'm going to do that now. Cover your ears. It's going to be a bit loud. And then we're going to head over to Vimeo. I just want to see if there's any other messages here for you confirming what we've got here already. Okay. For Leo, please, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 2020. What does Leo need to know for their highest good, please, Spirits? January 2020 for Leo. So remember, whenever you watch this video is when you're meant to hear it, whenever you're drawn to it. It doesn't matter. It's not time or date specific. Okay, things happen with tarot. Two weeks, three months, six months, you're all going to be different. It's all in divine timing. Look at this. Okay, so there is success and victory coming. You are moving forward. So like the chariot, this is about being recognized for all the effort that you have put in. We've got two sixes here, six of pentacles and the six of wands. I feel like the universe is moving you forward to this new beginning. You're going to be successful and there's going to be more equal give and take. This is this is progress. Getting out of the fives into the six sixes are progress movement forward here. Let's see where we're moving forward to. What is this page of pentacles about and what is this final decision? Okay. That's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this resonates for you. If it does, fantastic. I would love to hear from you. Again, don't forget about the beautiful Healing Stone Bracelet giveaway. You can check out that video too, as well as your moon and rising signs in the playlist. You could check to see who is the last winners in the Healing Stone Bracelet contest. And I hold it every month. So there's three given away every month that if you don't win this month, I will put your name in for the following month. So you still have a chance to win. So don't give up. Okay, thank you, Leo. If this is where you leave me, I'll see you next time. For those of you this resonates with, I will see you in the extended. We're going to clarify the heck out of it. Thanks so much. I appreciate all of you very much in 2019 for all of your support. Remember, the more you share the videos and the more you like the videos, the more they circulate and help others to hear these messages too. And if they're helping you and it's benefiting you, we definitely need to help lift each other up and share that information with others. So I appreciate it very much. Namaste.